Hello everyone, Deflect here from Firm But Fair Gaming, bringing you another build video. This one will be a DPS guideline. This is the current guideline until the nerfs come in. They will be nerfing the knee pads and the contractor's gloves. How big a nerf, I am not sure, but I will keep you up to date with that. This build will go through what you need for just a standard DPS and what I'm using currently. This can be transferred to any class. You don't need to use technician. You can use sharpshooter, you can use demo, you can use whatever you like. I personally like the shield, so I use that, but you can use any skills that you prefer. If you prefer to throw seekers, you can do that as well. Now, if you like this video, I'll be bringing out more build videos and more hunter mask guides. And if you wanna see anything else, just leave a comment below. Jumping into the video, I am currently running the Technician. The reason I am running the Technician uh, was solely so I could run the shield with the Artificer Hive. The Artificer Hive does buff the shield and it has a, a pretty decent cooldown. It's not the greatest, but uh, I enjoy running with the shield. That's why I use it. I'm not a big one for standing behind cover. I usually play out in the open. Uh, the Artificer has 6 second refill speed and 13 charges. My shield, just tier 1, it's nothing great. It will take damage and it can get blown up very easily, but it's on a 17 second cooldown. I didn't want to put anything else into the shield. Uh, I can use the shield, have it up, and stand behind cover. The main weapon I'm using is the classic M1A. I haven't re-rolled this one. I have a whole bunch I use. I like Optimus uh, because it does work with the shield. It's not one of the ones that doesn't. Uh, this one just has rifle damage, crit hit damage, and damage to targets out of cover. You will want to stack as much crit hit damage as you can. I'm running the 12 times for the headshot. The five rounds is key and the crit hit chance. You wanna get crit hit chance to 60, but you don't need to pass it. It is capped at 60%. For my secondary weapon, I'm using an AR. I rarely use it, but if you wanna switch and you don't like the classic M1A or you're using sniper class and not a shield, use the boomerang talent. It is a great talent and it ups the damage significantly on crit hits. And since your crit hit chance should be 60%, you'll be using that effect quite often. Uh, with the chest piece, it has perfect focus. Until they take this away that you can't use it with the shield, I will be running this with the shield all the time. It is great. It is not supposed to work with the shield, but you have to be scoped to use it. I use the Coyote Mask. Um, these do stack. Mine just had perfect weapon damage, but the other rolls are pretty good as well. 0 to 5, 15 meters with the crit hit damage. 15 to 25, you get both. And 25 plus, you get crit hit chance. Very rarely with the shield am I 25 meters away unless we're doing a control point and I'm hiding behind cover. <clears throat> the pristine example, chess piece. Using this for that perfect focus talent. So when you are scoped every second, you gain more damage. I use the crit hit chance on the holster, uh, the Seska holster. This one is a perfect roll with crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and weapon damage. So I'm getting 16% crit hit chance from this holster alone, which is just unbelievable because you want to get that up there as high as you can and close to 60 as you can. My knee pads are, of course, the Fox's Prayer. They're not the best roll. They're not a god roll. They're just uh, 8.4 weapon damage, damage to targets out of cover, and crit hit chance on it. Uh, nothing the best on it, but they are what they are. The Contractor's Gloves, again, not god rolled. Just weapon damage. The key, damage to armor, 11%. That is what you need. And I put a crit hit chance mod on it. The backpack, I wish I had a different backpack, but this one had Vigilance, and it gave me the crit hit dam damage from the Grupo, so I used it. It's okay. It could be better. Um, basically, I didn't want that skill haste there, but I had to reroll another bad stat where the crit hit chance was, so uh, 
that's what I have. Uh, I haven't farm, been able to farm and get a better one yet, so this is what I have for now. Vigilance is great. The 25% uh, weapon damage, hiding behind the shield, uh, helps us out as you don't take damage for four seconds. So just make sure you hide behind that shield and don't get shot in the back because then you will lose the vigilance. I will also be looking to replace that one day if I can get rid of the skill haste. It would just be optimal. And then my shield is just the normal shield you can throw on. Mods really don't matter. Deflector damage I put on. It does a little bit. The 4% damage bonus per enemy is okay. I'm not sure how well it's working, but uh, the 3.7 active regen is nice though. And then the Artificer Hive. I am actually just running mods for my Reviver Hive and Healing Hive in here because it doesn't matter. I never throw this down. It just stays on my back and works uh, for the shield. This can be used with any weapons though. This is just a weapon crit hit chance and crit damage build. The M1A is doing phenomenal, but I have a burnout with near max rolls that hits really hard as well. Damage to armor, health damage, and max assault rifle damage. As for the pistol, I just throw on any pistols. I never use pistols when I have um, two main guns. This just happened to be one of the nicest ones I had. Now, you can throw this out. If you are not using the shield, I would use the Pestilence. So if I'm using Sharpshooter and I'm hiding behind stuff, I'll switch it out for the M1A with the Boomerang effect and Pestilence as my secondary. Because um, the Pestilence doing that dot damage really helps. You can do the damage over 10 seconds, stacks up to 50 times. It really uh, really procs on a lot of enemies, so it's it's a great secondary to be running. Uh, as you can see, my rolls aren't perfect. It's 56.5. I don't really need to go any higher. I haven't broken 100 on the crit hit damage yet, and my headshot is 105. But I still do really good damage on it, and you'll see in the game clip after this um, just how easy stuff is to kill. It's unchallenging. I'm just running through. It's only a couple shots per enemy. It, uh, it really doesn't take much. So enjoy the gameplay, and like before... Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. This was Deflect from Firm But Fair Gaming.
hostiles. <laughs> 